Hey, did you see the new app from MKBHD, aka Marquise Brownlee? He published his first app. He gets a lot of questions about wallpapers, and he's got some pretty sick looking wallpapers in any of the videos that he makes. They always look great. They always film well on camera, and it just like it's this cool vibe. So he launched a new wallpaper app and I downloaded it, but I haven't used it yet. And there was a lot of backlash and I don't really understand the backlash. Like, I think you should be able to sell an app and a lot of people seem to take offense when someone wants to make money from the app store, when someone's launching a new product. We're gonna see what that app is like. Um, I have some experience. So this is the app down in the, the bottom here on my screen, but I have some experience working on uh, a wallpaper app. Now this is, this is nothing like his app, but a long time ago, back in 2011, I made an app that created abstract art. And so it would create these different images and you could use them as wallpapers. And that is that app. That is what is my wallpaper right now. So really interesting app. Um, and I just want to take a look at panels. Let's see what panels is about. This is from MKBHD. So he just launched this app. And it's been a, a common question he gets on YouTube, on Twitter. So he made an app to solve and answer the question. Um, 21 million people have viewed this, this post. And if you're an artist, so like if I wanted to submit stuff from my own app, I could go here and I could upload my artwork. So I could have some of my genetic artwork in his application, which is, I think, pretty cool. Um, 1.2 people, million people have seen that. So super cool. Um, so there's some permission stuff that's going to happen and some ad stuff that's happening. So I'm assuming it's got some free ads in it. Um, and there was some, some feedback. So let's, let's take a look at the app before we go into all this feedback and all this weirdness. Um, let's open up panels. All right, so right away, you're presented with this screen. You get some defocus glimpses of the different wallpapers, and we can tap the sign in with Apple. So go ahead and sign in. And then we've got some... Some things checked. So there's a permission, it looks like, so we can turn that off if we don't want notifications. But you're gonna find out when there's new wallpapers and stuff. So like, that's kind of cool. Um, there's some reporting for debugging, which I don't think is bad. There's a, I think the one thing that I wouldn't have checked by default, but a lot of companies just have this on, is like join the newsletter by default. Um, for the GP, whatever it is, I think that has to be off by default. And then it looks like all you have to do is hit this checkbox. So we're like, this is not a bad intro. So I don't want notifications. I don't mind reporting. I don't want to join the newsletter. I get enough emails. So we hit that. And now we're seeing artists. Okay. And I don't know if like these artists are doing things for free. Like the interaction there was super nice, nice animation. I like simpler wallpapers, like too much complexity, I think adds visual noise. We got some nice animations happening. And so this is the list of all of the wallpapers that Marquise has featured in his videos, which is kind of cool. So you can sort of see what those look like. You get details about each wallpaper. And let's say I want to get this wallpaper. 
So I can watch one ad to unlock the SD version. I don't know what the SD version is going to look like. All right, so it's like a 30 second ad. Like if you really don't want to pay for something, watch the ad and and that's fine. I honestly think he should have been asking for payment sooner. Um, it's not like super in your face. Like there's a lot of wallpaper apps that ask you to commit before you even use the app to subscribe. And I see nothing wrong with that. Okay, so reward is granted up in the top left. So now I can download this. And we need to give access in order to save it. Um, technically, they don't really need anything. So I could just hit done here and we would save that because I don't expect to be pulling stuff from there. We can see what the quality looks like. Like what does a 1080p wallpaper look like? So we go in here. I mean, that's not bad. That's that's super crisp on on this screen. Like you wouldn't really notice it. This is like high passable, but like if you really wanted the retina resolution, that's where you're gonna have to spend some money. Let's see what that looks like. So I can see all of these. I can get access to the creator's profile. Like, I think this is a super cool application. I'm not seeing uh, what's wrong other than people don't want to pay for it. If there's a cool wallpaper here, And we've got like a subtle ad right here for Panels Plus. HD wallpapers, no ads. So if we click on this, what do we get offered with? So annual is $50 a year. Month is $12 a month. And this is probably more expensive than some. Some apps offer for like $24 for the whole year. Um, but sometimes that's after you say no to the ad. Sometimes they have special logic so that they're they're offering this stuff. This looks like he's I mean, it almost looks like a super wall paywall, which is not a bad thing, which would allow him to iterate on the pricing and everything. And that's actually what I'm looking at doing for um, my coffee app. I've got it. So there's going to be some kind of paywall. And then you can go ahead and you can subscribe. So I don't, I don't see anything wrong with this. This app is nice. It's got creator profiles so that like you can follow different artists. You can find different things. I mean, it would be nice if it fetched some of the thumbnails when you go to an artist just to make it so that they open right away, but it's doing those requests as you scroll. So if I go into this artist, if I, nope, they don't have that many collections. It's not bad. Okay. Um, I can search based on color. It's kind of cool. We can go 3D or let's go abstract, see what kind of competition there is for abstract. This search bar is super chunky. I'm not sure if I like it that big. It's like I've got a large iPhone, but it doesn't need to be that huge. Like I think some of my artwork would work here. Like it's similar to like this type of stuff.
I think, were we looking at this guy before? No, I don't think we were. So I, I think this is a cool app. If this lets artists have more reach, I think that's super awesome. And I don't know if you get compensated. Um, I'm assuming yes, because they're making money on this. So they'll pay you something to feature the app. Okay, so that's the app. I don't have a problem with it. Um, I think it's totally fine to ask for money. And Marquis has to run a business. He has to make money to keep doing the things that he's doing. And this is one of those endeavors. So I have no problem with this. So maybe I have a bad hot take, but I think what he's doing is totally fine. This app is super polished. It's not terrible. It just asks you to pay for the different things. So then he wrote, part of what's building in public is getting mass feedback immediately, which is pretty dope, almost exactly like publishing a YouTube video. First thing we're doing is fixing the excessive data disclosures as people rightfully brought up. So maybe we didn't see that because I got a newer version. For transparency, we never ask for your location, internet history, et cetera. The data disclosures that everyone is screenshotting is likely too broad and largely driven by what the ad network suggests. We're working to fix that ASAP. So I think that's been fixed. So maybe I'm just too late to opening and using this app. As far as pricing, I hear you. It's our personal challenge to work and deliver that kind of value for the premium version. Weekly Friday drops are already starting and I'll be dialing back the ad frequency for the free experience. More to come. I appreciate you all. Four million people have viewed this. So I, a wallpaper app is a super niche app and you can make money there. Um, I made hundreds of dollars from, well, I made thousands of dollars from the Artwork Evolution app. Uh, you can't get it right now because the latest iOS broke my rendering for high resolution. Um, but people will pay for interesting artwork. So I, I don't understand why people are so upset about this. The app was built from scratch. It feels like it was built from scratch. It feels polished. Like I have nothing, nothing against it. All right, so that's my hot take on, on panels. If you want to go ahead and download it, um, you can. So it's just panels.art. So I think if I click this, that'll open up the web page. The one thing that I don't like is you can't get to the App Store link from here. Um, so they got this weird button and you have to scan it. So. Maybe I'll make this a little bit bigger. Nope, too big. I don't like excessive animations. Okay, so if we click this, if you scan this code right over there, uh, you can download the app for Apple, or if you're on Google, you can download it for Google. So that's how you get the app, but there's no easy way to get to the app store. Like, I just wanna, like, oh, can I, can I do it that way? Like, this is just a little silly to me. So it looks like I can right click on this and open this. And there we go. So it seems like they've already update the pricing, maybe it was $18 a month or something. Dude, if you want a wallpaper, you can't just have free wallpapers all the time. <laughs> Like these people just don't want to pay.
if you want the art that Marquise Brownlee has, like this is where you get it. I, I don't see, these are just people who don't want to pay for things. And when you have a large enough audience like he does with millions of, of followers and viewers, you're going to get negativity and backlash. It's a business. That's what he is. And he's launching new product lines. He's got sneakers. He's got apps. Um, it's only got 49 ratings. Like if I were to open the app up again, can I even rate it from the app? Can I share it? You can even choose the, the background count. You can change all of this. Oh, here we can see what they're using. Um, so they're using fun stuff. It's got Firebase, Kotlin. So it's probably got a shared code base. They've got Lodi for animations, which is kind of cool. Um, cool. I think the biggest thing that's missing is there's no way to share the app. Okay, and so here you can see things that you've liked. And purchases, if you've purchased anything. Yeah. I have no problem with this app. I think it's great. And I'm I'm really excited that M uh, I can't say his name. Marquise is launching this MKBHD. Um, I'm a big fan. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.